Today, we're going to build a singing water bowl with this. My name is Tom. I work with the five senses, with movement and imagination. This embodied learning at home series is for all the parents who are stuck at home with their children during this pandemic. We are going to use only materials you have in your apartment. Please stay safe and have fun. The singing water bowl is perfect for fostering fine and gross motor skills in your child. It's great for enhancing the interaction and the quality of interaction between you and your child. It's very useful for testing how patient you can be when you're trying something new. It's amazing for the development of the perception of the body skin in your child as the movements we are going to do are very similar to the movements you have when you learn to swing and it's ideal for making a STEM experience that is completely out of the box. This is what you need. A stainless steel pot, it doesn't matter what size, very important with stainless steel handles. Water. A pillow. If you don't have a pillow, you can use a clean sponge. And now let's put this thing together. I place the pillow in front of me. I make sure I'm on the ground on my knees in a comfortable position. I grab the pot, I put it on top of the pillow. Then I will fill up the pot for almost the half. Then I wet my hands. This is the movement. I was able to set the pot in vibration and the water is responding with <clears throat> an interesting pattern. Cool, huh? Now I'll show you uh, what happens if you use a sponge instead of a pillow. Now I would like to see what happens if I use a bigger pot and more water. Since the bigger pot is heavier and I have more water, then I can also change the rhythm and the movement. 
So the very interesting thing is that with the small part, we were working on parallel movement of our body. And then you can think of how it feels learning to swing, which is something that in memory of children reminds of the time they were in the womb. And uh, uh, with this uh, bigger part, then you can work on uh, the development of this type of movement, an alternate movement, which is great to improve the quality of uh, walking and uh, the quality of breathing, which starts as a parallel movement, but then it's very interesting to follow when you alternate the movement. If your family endures the sound of a beginner playing the violin, enjoy exploring the potential of vibration and oscillation with your new instrument. Oh, it works also just with one hand! Now it's time to share with your children. First of all, let them get familiar with water and the new instrument. If you notice that your child is asking for support, please avoid direct instruction. Just do it with them. The best learning experience happens when you let go. And they'll do it! It takes time, it takes patience, and it's not a competition. Please do not put anybody under pressure at home while doing this, because it's about enjoying and not winning. Post all the videos and the photos you make of this on your social media by quoting embodied learning so that I can follow your progress. If you have any type of questions, use the form below. I hope you had fun. I'll see you next week. Cheers. Thank you.